the chemistry, what's going on down there under the ground. You know, like 5,000 feet underwater, air, the, the pressure is one ton per square inch. It's 14 pounds here, you know, air pressure, standard atmospheric pressure, right? 14 pounds per square inch. One ton down there. The gas doesn't escape from the oil like it does up here. It stays inside the oil, making a goopy mess, and then when the water gets in there, it actually starts to freeze all this nonsense. So then it moves along until it gets warmer, then it starts to come up to the surface. It's a nightmare from every point of view, completely unprepared for it. They even admit that. And yet here we are, stuck with this kind of technology. Right. So that's, I guess, is the second thing to me to talk about. What should we really be doing about energy? Okay. Renewable. And, yeah, well, I, I, think, I think the big issue to me, we talk about capitalism, Clearly, the resources of society need to be in the hands of the majority. It means right. it needs to be taken out of the hands of this capitalism we've evolved to, which is a tiny, tiny little group of rich, very backward, very wealthy parasites who, managed, who are trying to control all the wealth of the whole world, and that's yeah. how we end up with where we are. So we need to give the resources to all of humanity, to hold those resources and, and work out together what we need to do. Right. On the engineering side, there's a whole movement of I would I would call much more radical engineering. Remember I mentioned that law before, the RICRA law about about waste, and it's called the cradle to grave law. It says we you own that waste from the moment you give give it birth until you throw it away. And this new idea is cradle to cradle. We need to really mimic what nature does. We need to treat waste as food for the new end. We need to take and view ourselves as being contributors to the health of the planet. We can't view humanity just saying, we're going to do less pollution. There's no salvation down the road of less pollution. Right. There's only salvation down the road of us actually contributing as fellow creatures to the development and health of the planet, right? I mean, there's no other hope for this planet if we're not actually making a good contribution to things. And so that's the whole change in engineering. We, be, we build televisions with 400 chemicals in them, very expensive chemicals, some of them, small amounts of palladium <laughs> and strontium and gold and all this, but we don't make it so we can get them out. Mm. So we need to redesign everything that we make so that we, we, when we make it, we can pull the good stuff, you know, something that's very valuable and took us a lot of pollution to get, like gold, we can pull it right back out again before it gets thrown into the heat. We need to redesign our television, if we're going to have televisions, right? We need to redesign everything. And I think that's the thing that, and there's books written about this. This isn't just me. We need to redesign, we need to go all the way back to the beginning and not do the industrial revolution over again. But now use the advances we've made to really make a good contribution to this planet. And some of the ideas are nature is abundant. Nature's not parsimonious, it doesn't hold everything in. If a tree makes seeds, it makes millions of seeds, right? When we make, when plants make things, they make all kinds of stuff. We need to see ourselves differently on this planet as helping and contributing. But that requires this change. And the capitalists got to go. That's right. That's right. We got to be in charge. And if we're in charge, then we can develop this engineering. Just one last thing, the Land Institute. What they're doing, just to give an example of how this biomimicry works, they take a field of natural grass that's existed in the plains for years. They go in, it's got 25, 27, maybe 30 species of plant. They go in and they pull one plant out. They replace it with a very similar plant, but it's a plant that we can eat. And then they let it develop. So they're, con they're trying to get, make sure that what, instead of having agriculture, which is very destructive, even organic agriculture in the long run, we need to re change the way we are with this planet so that actually nature is all around us and yet we are benefiting from nature and nature is benefiting from us. So this work, again, has been going on, people have been thinking about it and working on it. So I think that's the other side of this. There is hope. We need to have alternatives to things. Clearly in energy, yes, there's alternatives in energy and wind and solar. And we know, you know, we've all, those are technological uh, things we've talked about. I think I, I'd like to see us where we don't do so many things to the planet, where we live in harmony with nature, and we need to get there with all six billion of us. So it's not just for a few. It's for everybody, exactly. right? Everybody on the planet. We all are going to go together. Okay. So, and when we think about it that way, 
I think we know we have to get the power away from the capitalists, get the wealth, and then we can really improve the standard of living of everybody and change our relationship to this planet so we can live together. Thank you. Last thing, I just wanted to hand out the Cochabamba declarations. People of indigenous peoples met and they talked about capitalism and how it hurts Mother Earth. And so I'm just, I made a copy of that and I just like to have everybody take a look at that and see. It's a very positive thing that came out of Evo Morales and the Bolivian government. Oh, and the Bolivian ambassador will be at the social forum on Saturday. So hopefully um, the social forum will be. Okay, okay. There's, be, there's two each. There's two. 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 The social That's forum, all. Fred, will it, will it have uh, workshops and things for more details on what you just? I hope so. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I think so. It all sounds real great. I mean, but we first got to get rid of one thing. <laughs> 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 And that's, that's going to take some real sure. fighting, boy. <laughs> Physical, mental, everything. Okay, so um, thank you, Fred, for that, for that uh, very informative talk. And I wish that you had even more details about it. Sounds really good. Yes. Um, and um, maybe, maybe we'll attend, those who can attend the social forum, find those workshops, you know, if you're, if you're out and about during the day. And, 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 you know, sit in on them. You might, I guess you will hear some more. Right, Fred? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good.